Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Michelle from Michelle James Designs. And today I'm gonna to show you how I made this really fun Valentine picture frame. This is from the Dollar Tree. And it's these wood frames that they have and this one has the heart shape cut out. And um, so I'm going to use these deco art paint first to um, paint the wood frame so I can have just not the natural wood. So first I'm gonna use my sandy block and I'm going to just smooth it out a little bit before I add any paint. And this is an optional step, you don't really have to do it, but I like to just smooth out. There's just sometimes some little wood pieces that are just kind of hanging off a little bit. It's only a dollar, so you know. So I'm just gonna wipe off the extra um, from the sand that the sanding block left behind. And I've got my black paint here. This is lamp black, I believe, from Deco Art. I'm just gonna cover the whole thing and I am gonna do the back as well and the sides. Once it's all painted on both sides, then I set it aside and let it dry. Well, I let it dry between coats, between sides. So I did the front first, let it dry, and then did the back. <coughs> Once that was dry, you can see I already started on this gray. This is called um, Gray Sky, also from Deco Art. I did the back already, and now I'm going to paint the front. And the reason I do the black first underneath the gray is so that I can distress the gray and reveal some of the black underneath. It makes just a nice distressing, um, as opposed to seeing the natural wood underneath, I like to see the black. So then I did give it a second coat. If you like this kind of faded sort of look, then you don't have to do that, but I like to do this and then distress it down to where I like it. Okay, so while the frame is drying, I'm going to use these wood letters that I got in my stocking for Christmas. They are also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna spell out love. And I'm going to use this Galaxy Glitter Paint from Deco Art. This is Pink Cosmos, and I really love the look of this. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. So I'm just gonna take some of this and paint it onto my letters. I didn't like the way it was going on here because there's no base coat under the glitter, so the wood was showing, and that kind of bothered me didn't really like it so <coughs> excuse me I decided to use this pink metallic paint underneath first so I am just wiping this glitter off with a paper towel it came right off and then I'm going to use this metallic um, paint and I think the name of it is Berry it is also from Deco Art I love their paints you can always go on really nicely it's very pretty as well. Hard to see on camera how nice this paint is, but it's really nice. So I'm painting the fronts of the letters, not the backs, and the sides, and I'm holding on to it, so I'm leaving that little corner um, unpainted until the rest is dry, and then I'm gonna go back and touch that up. And the other thing I'm gonna paint is something I had in my stash already so I did not purchase this but it is a wood tag so it kind of matches the letters and I thought it would be fun little embellishment for the frame so I'm also painting that with the metallic berry and now you can see I finished the little corners um, and they are dry and I'm going to try again with the glitter paint and this time I'm actually going to use this brush. It's a different, it's more of just a small paintbrush that you can get at any craft store. And when I started brushing this on, it's actually easier to kind of pat it on as opposed to brushing. So that's what I did. And another fun thing about this glitter paint is there's different colors in the glitter. And if you 
in in this one there's some teal specks of glitter and i thought it would be it is fun because you can <coughs> excuse me you can actually kind of place those colors where you want them so if you find an area that doesn't have a lot of teal in it you can actually pick up a little teal uh, glitter fleck from the palette and place it where you want so it was this paint is really cool i've never used it before and i really liked it a lot and then I just did a little bit at the bottom of the tag just to give it a little bit of, uh, to kind of match it with the letters and give it a little more pizzazz. So there they are after they're dry and it's hard to get, but you can kind of see how glittery and fun they are. I just love them. So my next thing is to take this frame back now that it's dry and use that sanding block again and get it, give it some distressing. I'm kind of a light distresser. I don't do too much. i um, kind of on the edges and the sides mostly. And I tried to get a little bit on the flat part, but I didn't do too much. I do like the look of distressing though. I just don't like tons of it. Okay, so once I had that done, now I'm going to lay out the design I want on here. Um, I, I struggled between doing this one across the bottom or having the LO on one line and the VE below it kind of um, right next to the heart. But I just decided on this. And then being a former scrapbooker card maker, I like to add little embellishments. So I thought this would be cute here and then there will be some Baker's twine um, across the top as well. And then in my stash, I found this little charm, that's little arrows, so I thought it would be cute to add to it as well. <coughs> okay, so now I've got my ruler here and, I'm, and I've got my little book. You just need like a magazine or something to so that your ruler will be the same height um, and lay level. So I have it half inch from the bottom and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and glue these letters down. <coughs> I also am doing about an inch and a half from each side. And then on the O and the L, some of that um, goes into the heart a little bit and I tried not to get glue in those areas, but it doesn't really matter, it just dries up. So there's my letters onto my frame and I think they look really cute. So now I'm gonna work on this tag a little bit. Um, I thought it needed just a little bit more, so I'm going to do, like I practiced on my chipboard right there, the XOXO, and I'm going to add this ring and my charm together. So then I can put my string through that ring instead of through the hole on the tag. So I did practice this on the back side of this wood already, but I'm going to do my best to make it look good on the front. So I'm just drawing. I didn't want to ruin it, but I really wanted that XOXO on there. So I went ahead and did it and I thought, well, if I ruin it, I can just start over. And then I'm just gonna go over it again and make it a little darker. It's hard to see on the camera, but it's cute on the tag. Kind of have to go slow and do the best you can on these. And you could use vinyl and cut it out of Cricut if you want to, or a silhouette, or you could even use stickers. Okay, so now I'm going to use this ring, and this actually came from a metal tag that I had. But you know those um, you can buy them at office supply stores. They have a metal a rim, and then there's like a cardstock in the middle. And they're white and they come with these little, I call it a large jump ring, but I don't think that's what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So I just put that ring on there and then I added the charm on there as well. And I used my stylus to kind of open up the metal or to make it easier to get it onto the tag. So cute. Okay, so now I'm going to use pink and teal baker's twine. And the pink came from the Dollar Tree and the teal came from Amazon. And I'm just going to double that up and I'm going to um, put it about an inch down from the top. And I'm going to wrap it around a couple times. And then I'm just going to tie a knot after I cut the string. Okay, then I'm going to add the tag onto one of the ends. The lower end is the one I want. And I'm just trying to place everything how I want it, and I'm going to tie another knot to secure that on. Get that charm down where it needs to be. Now it's a little close or too far over, I think. I, I want my picture to be able to show most of the way. So I'm just going to slide this over a little bit since it's not secured down at all yet. There, that's better. And it's a little um, tilty, I guess I would say on there so I'm going to use a piece of the foam mounting tape I'll give it a little height at the bottom to match the knot at the top and I'm just going to cover up my practice XOXO there and get my charm and everything the way I want it and then I'm just going to press that down and secure and adhere the tag to the wood once I get that, I'm ready to trim these edges or these ends of my string. And I think I'm done. The only thing I need to do is get my print, my photo printed. And then the template that came with the frame, I saved that so I could cut around it, trace it onto the photo. and. There it is, all cute with my little Harper Lily, my little granddaughter. And so there it is, all cute and glittery on the letters. And behind those are the frames that I made um, for the Grinch printables for Christmas. So I removed the Grinch and put in Harper, and I can use them all year long. All year long. I will put a link to that video as well. But here's my cute little Valentine display, and I'm going to use this frame all year long. I hope you like it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.